Shalom, beloved. A word. A few words. I know I've been gone for a while. The Lord is working with me. And there are multiple things I wanted to talk about. The first one, one that stays, is constant. I'm going to start with Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 6. The book of Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 6. We are living through the Most High's words. And I just want to show you something. I'm going to read the KJV version first. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, Yah, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood. All right. These are the enemies of Yasharel, those who have turned against the laws and the commands of the Most High. Now, let's see. We're going to give that interpretation before I go into it to give you an example of it. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, this is the American standard, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood. Therefore, blood shall pursue thee. Yes, there are those who have loved the shedding of blood, adored it, particularly the shedding of others' blood, innocent blood. When we look, I want to find that piece because when he talks about blood, he's talking about murder, okay? He's talking, I'm going to read the Good News Translation. So then, as surely as I live, the Sovereign Lord, as surely as I, the Sovereign Lord, am the living Yah. Death is your fate, and you cannot escape it. You are guilty of murder, and murder will follow you. That is the interpretation. That is what the knowing gave me. I'm going to read it again. So then, I'm in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 6. These are the enemies, first of all, those who disregard the most high, who think themselves above him. This is his judgment for them. So then, as surely as I, the sovereign Lord, am the living Yah, death is your fate and you cannot escape it. You are guilty of murder. Come on. And murder will follow you. All right. The original version or one of the versions better said is read differently but this is the one and I'm going to come down now again and read the one because spiritually this is the interpretation I always got this is Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 6 so then as surely as I the sovereign Lord am the living God Death is your fate, and you cannot escape it. You are guilty of murder, and murder will follow you. When we look at God's word, <clears throat> excuse me, translation, I'm coming down. That is why as I live, declares the almighty Lord, I will let you be murdered. Murderers will pursue you since you don't hate murdering people. Murder will pursue you. This is the truth and the spirit of what? The book of Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 6. Two is stating, forgive me. And now to show you, this is 2021. 2021, 
in 2021, I'm going to go up to the top before I move on to show you how this prophecy is in full force. It's in full force. This is a list of mass shootings in the United States in 2021. There have been 213 when this was put out on this date. 213, there may be more, that is this year alone. And now I'm just scrolling down from yesterday, which was the 19th, today is the 20th, 213. These are mass and intended murders, 213 since January 1st of this year. I'm going backwards. I am simply showing you all over this country, all over. This is going back to January 1st to show you this is not a determination of a person. This is coming from the Most High. His word has gone forth since they love murder. Murder is pursuing. It is showing you the variations of the states. You got Arkansas, Texas, Iowa, Illinois, Louisiana, California, Oregon, Florida, um, Virginia, Washington, D.C. It's all over. Pennsylvania, California, Kentucky, Arizona, Illinois, Michigan, New York, Indiana, it's so many, Tennessee, Colorado, North Carolina, it's all over this country. This edict did not come from a person. This edict comes from the most high. Again, and this is the translation. Many people like it read out of the KJV, which I will go back to. But I'm going to do the translation because... When I got it spiritually, this is how it came through. That is why as I live, declares the almighty Lord, I will let you be murdered. Murderers will pursue you. Since you don't hate murdering people, murder will pursue you. That's the book of Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 6. When you read the KJV, Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, Yah, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood, even blood. Therefore, blood shall pursue thee. Okay? I wanted to read this because it's been on my mind. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I noted and I'm going to go back and see if I can find his statement. All right. This is coming from uh, the president. When he's talking. Right. Okay. What's clear, as the president has said, is that we are suffering from an epidemic of gun violence in this country. All right. I was trying Biden says every life that is taken by bullet pierces the soul of our nation. We can and must do more. But the edict from the most high, you have people that believe that because they give themselves passage on murder. Okay, you're rich, you're a high official. All right, that somehow. It only matters when certain people that they care about or when the world is looking at you that suddenly you can speak up and it matters. But the most high has been looking and what you're seeing, as I stated, at least 213 mass shootings. According to the Gun Violence Archive, I showed you, this is something that I've been seeing, it's been increasing. These are not violence where 
one group is mad at another group or one person is angry at another person. I also notice that the Babylonians try to make it like, okay, now it's all of us know those mass shootings that are going at the enemies of Yashabra. They are without provocation. They're happening without provocation. But when you look at a lot of the murders that have been done, they were without provocation. The only thing that provoked the murder of many who are innocent blood is just the bloodthirstiness of the murderers who are given a pass. They were given a pass because of power, because of color, because of position. But there is no pass from the most high. That's the first thing I wanted to speak about. One of the other things that is coming to pass before our very eyes, beloved, these mass murders that you're seeing going on all over the country, as a matter of fact, they're going on all over the world. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 6. That curse has been loosed on those who first and foremost, they disregard the most high and they hate Yasharel without reason. And now they are being pursued. And it does not come from the thought, the heart, the intent of a human being, therefore it can't be stopped. It's increasing exponentially. Many times they won't even put it in the news anymore, but it doesn't change anything. And it is coming to pass with increasing intensity. The other thing, the book of Obadiah, it's been with me. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. When you think of small, it's small in numbers. Once upon a time, the Babylonians, the enemies of the people of the Most High, they were outnumbering them. They had greater weaponry than the people of the Most High. But when you look at this, behold, I have made these small among the heathen. I'm going to bring it up. Forgive me, I thought I had it up. Fewer births than deaths among whites in majority of United States, okay? Fewer births than deaths. What does that mean? They are becoming small in number. That doesn't speak on the deaths of despair. That doesn't speak on the fact that there is a um, opioid death rate that is exploding. They don't want to report it because if you ever connect the fact that once again, behold, I have made these small among the heathen. You see, even their own people, their own groups, they have become small among the heathen. Okay. Certain Asian groups are also very small. Certain Asian groups attempting to be, to control something you can't control. If you look at China, it was the one child policy, but they got rid of it. Now you have this extreme difference between the number of males and the number of females. Japan has an aging uh, population. Okay, these groups, these groups that benefited from the oppression, the death, the lies told against Yasharel, behold, I have made these small among the heathen, low numbers. Now, a lot of them to try to offset it, now they'll lie and say, Oh, no, Blacks don't have that many babies either. No, that's a lie, beloved. That's a lie. Again, this is the New York Times that I'm bringing this to you from. The New York Times, 
fewer births than deaths among whites in the majority of U.S. states. They keep trying to push it off like, no, the demographic change, it'll be in 2045 or 2050. It's right now, beloved, right now. And the New York Times is already talking about it. I could go deep into this, but deaths now outnumber births among white people in more than half the states in the country. Demographers have found signaling what could be a faster than expected transition to a future in which whites are no longer a majority of the American population. It's already happened, beloved. I want to go back to Obadiah. I don't want to get off course. Thou art greatly despised. Behold, I've made thee small among the heathen. Now, one of the other things is, this isn't just going on. I lost a piece. I'm not going to uh, search for it. And it's going on all over the world in Europe. There are so few births, they are trying to make deals. The foreigners and any non-white person is considered a foreigner. But their birth rates have decreased none. As a matter of fact, it's increased. But the European birth rate has plummeted. Their fertility rate, their sperm counts are at 50% less than what it was we can go back to the 70s, to the 80s. It's not just the females that are having problems, having children below. The males, their sperm count, it is not happening to the Yasharites. It's not happening to Yasharites. It's happening to Babylonians and those that were enemy of Yasharites, those curses. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Thou that dwelleth in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high, the clefts of the rock, skyscrapers, high rises. You know, the um, penthouse people, when you look at million dollar listings and all of this, those people, the, the, thou that dwelleth in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high those people, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Mm. We know who to talk to. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, the eagle, mm, mm, mm. let's look at the eagle. I'm hoping I did not lose it, the eagle, all right? America took on the eagle as a symbol and its design in June 1782, okay? One of the reasons why, and I, was, I didn't want to lose it, I've been moving throughout this, is what that eagle represented. You, you have to understand Babylon is a pagan society. Even the names they use, they're pagan, paganistic names. Okay, we're in the month of June. Where did this month's name come from? Here in Babylon. Juno. Who's Juno? Juno, if I have it right, is represents Hera. Who's Hera? The wife of Zeus those no gods, these, these names are represented, they're pushed on us. This paganistic lifestyle has been pushed on us since we got here. And that eagle is also representative of it because the eagle was a bird of Zeus or in the Roman mythology, they called him Jupiter. And it goes back. Rome was a group that they used the eagle. The eagle was the principal ensign or standard of the legions of Rome. The eagle symbolized strength, courage, farsightedness, and immortality. 
It is considered to be the king of the air and the messenger of the highest God. Mythologically, it is connected by the Greeks with the god Zeus, by the Romans with Jupiter, and with the Germanic tribes with Odin. Okay? Now, when you're looking at that eagle, we're going back. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, mm, mm, mm. it's talking about the prophetic truth of who they are, what they believe, and how they operate. It actually is a description of not just what they believe, but what is going to happen to them. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, like the Roman Empire, and though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, amongst the stars, beloved, mm. SpaceX, mm. you know, right now, America has the space race. You got Bezos and you got Elon Musk. They intend to build these places in the stars, in the sky. Okay. I want to see if I can find it because I don't want to get off track. SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk remains focused on his vision for the company, establishing a, a permanent human presence on Mars with its Starship rockets carrying people to and from the red planet. We don't want to be one of those single planet species. We want to be a multi-planet species, Musk said on Friday, speaking after the company launched its Crew 2 mission into orbit. Now, just so that you don't get lost, this is Elon Musk, but now we got to go to Bezos. Bezos because these two are in this crazy race. Bezos, a person just gave him, if I've got the number right, $28 million to go on a space flight. Okay, I want to see if I can find it. But again, I don't want to get off track. They want to live in space. But what does the word of the Most High, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nets amongst the stars, they want to live in the outer space, in the upper heavens. Thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. We are seeing these prophecies, beloved, come to pass. He has made them small. They're lying. They're doing everything in their power to try to balance the books, but it's not a human being that's doing it. Their fertility rate has plummeted. Not just the women, and many of them, when they have children, they have disabilities, be it mental or physical or both. The pride of thine heart had deceived thee. Thou that dwelleth in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, living in skyscape scrapers, being above the little God that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Mm. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the most high. We are walking straight through prophecy below. And just like we witnessed it in the first Egypt, we're witnessing it now. Even when we look at the book of Ezekiel, I'm going to finish. Chapter 35, verse 6. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood. Forgive me, because I changed it 
blood shall pursue thee. I was trying to find the version that I had. And I'm going to say it the way the spirit brought it to me. So then, as surely as I, the sovereign Lord, am the living God, death is your fate and you cannot escape it. You are guilty of murder and murder will follow you. 213 mass shootings with intent to be mass murders from January 1st until yesterday. We are also seeing the attempt at a pacifying move going on. We're watching Juneteenth being recognized as a national holiday. A national holiday that at the time, the enslaved Israelites, those that were in Texas, Galveston, they hadn't heard and they weren't being told because they were going to work them as long as they could. Where the other blacks knew, the other Israelites knew. There's also this crazy thing on this Juneteenth celebration, which I do not disregard Juneteenth, but our Independence Day is when we are out of this demonic system altogether. Okay. Putting up all these statues of George Floyd on Juneteenth, mixing all these things in a pot. Now we're supposed to just get along. These are things they know if they know what the word of the Most High say, they know it goes against what he told Yasharel to do. Putting up a statue of George Floyd on Juneteenth is a sick disrespect. The day you got free, we're going to commemorate a murder of your people. Why? I don't understand the connection. First of all, we do not deal with idols, statues, idolatry, George Floyd on Juneteenth. Why that day? He, what happened to Yashara happened to multiples of us. And to try to pigeonhole it and divert using a red herring about one man on that day. Who made these decisions to do this that day? Instead of honoring the fact it's never going to stop. Now, what I was saying, oh, there's a statue going up. But see, you, it's not cur carved by the hands of man. It's not made of silver and gold. It's coming from the spirit. It's a statue, a law, and a command of the most high that will never be, never be used to manipulate, but to only bring about the truth of what Yah knows is and will be done. I don't know how you put Juneteenth and a statue of George Floyd together. And there is nothing in me dishonoring George Floyd. What was done to George Floyd? What was done to Breonna Teller? What was done to Emmett Till, to George Stinney, to countless Yashua lights cannot be diluted into one person. It's what has been done to the nation. And yet, every time Yashua stands up, they want to do to everybody or the send you in some other direction. They want to put other people in the same boat. We all the same. No, we're not the same. So you got a home to go to. And as long as it benefited those others. See, you got, I'm not for or against other groups. But you make a hate law for one group. And then the person that started the greatest hate against them is still walking around. Total hypocrisy. But I digress. Beloved, Obadiah, behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. 
It's been a horror show. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwelleth in the clefts of the rock, <laughs> in those skyscrapers living on high, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, like Rome, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, like Bezos and Elon Musk, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. There is no hiding place for what's coming. There's a lot of things that I wanted to talk about, a lot of things that were on my mind, beloved, and I shall be back. But there are times when the Most High has to get us by ourselves. And there are things he shares I cannot share. But this I will. This is a word, beloved. Before I stop recording, yeah. Shalom.